Hi guys and welcome back to Mod Studio. I'm Atul and in this episode we'll be going over how to use the new projector tool within Speedtree. This is aimed for the intermediate to advanced users so I won't be going over how to import the meshes and textures and such. Uh, if you want to see something like that leave a comment down below and I'll make that video happen. Watch this video till the end so you don't miss any important tips and tricks that I'll be sharing. So without any further ado guys let's dive in. So in Speedtree, I have my appropriate meshes and textures loaded and now all we need to do is after you've loaded in your trunk or your normal trunk system you use like a trunk like this, all you need to add is your base by doing a right click, add geo and then just scroll down to you see base. Once you've added that, we need to scatter our object that we we'll want to scatter on our mesh or trunk or anything you want to. So. I went ahead and I have some mushrooms that I've imported from Megascans. So this works with batch leaves, it works with fronds, it works with branches, anything you want. So you can go crazy with this tool to decorate your tree or anything. Or if you import a, let's say a Megascans rock with moss, you can scatter some ferns and stuff like that on that scanned asset. So let's quickly add some batch leaves. Okay, in this batch leaves, let's just from the material and nothing yet happens. We need the projector tool to make this work. So let's select the projector. Let's add a projector. Let's use the spotlight. W on the keyboard. And let's just move this out of the way. Let's make the icon a little bit smaller, like 0.2 and R on the keyboard. Yeah. And let's just rotate this into position. And as you can see, nothing happens yet. After you've selected your projector tool in its settings, let's scroll down to where you see base five. In your case, it will just say base or base two or base three, depending on how many bases you have in your scene. So I'll be selecting base five. As you can see, the rays are being cast, but it's not affecting my trunk yet because in the target generators, we need to select our mesh, which is mesh for me, but you can rename that to trunk. So as you can see, we have our scanned mushrooms that are being scattered onto the trunk. So in this case, batch leaves, it's just like a normal leaf generator now. So you can go into the orientation and you can tweak the settings here to your desire, maybe upwards like this. And in the skin tab, let's just make this a way bit smaller, like 0.1 or 0.15, something like this. So to make this a little more dense, you need to select your projector and in the count under the ray casting settings, let's increase that to something like 250, like so. All right. so. But in the base generator, we need to amend the orientation, how the points are being cast onto the object itself. So automatically it is set to normal and tangent. What I like to do is I would set this to something like binormal and the align I would set to face normal. So in the batch sleeves now, all you need to do is just play with your values here with the out rotation. So it rotates outwards and in force you can add a little random value something like this and let's just give some variant in size with the green curve double click there and now a next set of uh, your second base so get again right click add geo add base let's set this base to your previous one was set to two let's set our next base to three. So let's add our second projector. Let's set this to spot as well. Let's move this up and let's select our next base, which is this one. Let's rotate this into position. Let's decrease the size of this 0.2. So we, okay, so now let's add our next set of batched leaves. So within this, I've created some Burns. Let's throw that into the batch leaf material right over there. And let's just select our last operator, select our base, which is base four. And let's just add our mesh. As you can see, we have our ferns being scattered on the trunk. So let's just amend the orientation, sky influence, upward rotation, such, something like this. And in the skin tab, let's just take down the size. And as you can see, if you want some more ferns, let's just increase the value to something like 60. And yet again, go into the batch leaves, into the skin tab, if it's some random values, let's make them a bit smaller. Now let's quickly add the, let's say the, the moss or something like that to the scene. So yet again, the same process. So right click in your scene, add geo, select base and yeah, let's just align this here it's again let's set this remember your last one was three so this one will be four okay so let's add our third projector which is another spot just move this out of the way 
So let's just size down to 0 0.2 and select our last base on the mesh. Okay, and let's add our batched leaves again. And I went ahead and made my moss texture. Let's apply that to the batched leaves. And let's just rotate this so they start scattering on our trunk. So let's make them a bit smaller. And let's increase this value quite high we need to cover this let's put it to 2000 and let's just increase the fuzziness so we have something that looks like that so that is basically how you cover something with the projector tool within speed tree you have other modes let's quickly deselect these h on the keyboard let's hide them so you have something like a capsule and you have a cylinder which is great to scatter moss around a tree trunk or something like that. So just quickly decrease the, the distance and let's just make this 100 cylinder length and let's just decrease this some more. And let's rotate this into position, doubling the keyboard, just move this here and let's increase this now. So it covers the entire trunk. Let's move this down and let's just set this to towards. As you can see, we have some moss scattering or moss grass scattering around the tree. So let's add another zero to this. As you can see, that is what a cylinder is useful for. In the next example, how you can use the projector tool to scatter, let's say branches with leaves and everything on it to a specific point where you want it to be scattered to. So this is just a very simple um, pine tree. So all you need to do is just add your base. The system is already built. You can just apply that to your base and apply that to your projector tool and it will be scattered at the point where you want it to be. Just quickly activate this and activate that as well. So as you can see, let's just select the projector and let's just put this to one, two rays. Let's just go into the branch itself and decrease this amount, the frequency to two. So now you can literally put this wherever you want, depending on your rays. So you can select this and base object, you can set this to ray project ray. So it's dependent on your ray projectors angle and such. So guys, that is the projector tool for you in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions that I've missed, leave a comment down below. Um, feel free to support us on our Patreon page. It will help us a lot to grow this channel and bringing you guys more content. To see any other of our videos, check these two out right over here. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.